Hello and good evening, and welcome to Worlds Collide, the Final Fantasy VI randomizer. Tonight, we are going to be showcasing the current Ultras League Season 5 Underground Async. I am Joker Mage. I'm joined in the booth by Sonic the Jester, and we have Nobody War running the show behind the scenes. Hey, uh, Sonic, uh, how about you uh, introduce us to our runners today and give us a little information about the Ultras League Season 5 flag set. Mm. Oh boy, thank you so much for that. Well, we have two of our amazing runners. First off, we have Saberwolf, which, you know, I think his name just is recognized in our community. Very great runner. And um, we have Prominence now. Prominence, I, I'm a new runner myself, only three months oh, now. Uh, so thanks for, uh, I'm pretty new to the community, but I know man. Prominence as well. He's a consistent runner. We're, again, this is the Ultra League Underground. It's a weekly flag set that Fitz has been running. One Free Fitz has been running for quite some time now. And it follows all the Ultra League flags, you know, Ultimas in play. You always got to worry about that. Tiered spells. You know, New Let River uh, encounter fix. You know, the Poison Glitch fix. We, we have a lot of good stuff this season. Going and of course, the, the uh, really fantastic and widely used now uh, KT skip that's yeah. just based on checks or on espers or on characters, but not and all of them. Oh boy, you gotta love that check skip. As and well if, as the, the high tier item list pool limiting, right? Oh yes, yes. And if someone wanted to uh, get involved with this uh, underground async, how would they go about doing it? Oh, well, first off, you definitely want to go to Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. You want to join our Discord community where all these friendly individuals who will help you out with anything you need. And in that, you, you'll, you'll learn how to join races. You'll see which ones are available. And this one is updated every week, I think, usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So you'll always, if you go to your, there's a uh, handy dandy section called roles where you can choose to be notified when certain things happen. So you can choose how much information is delivered to you daily through the discord, which is a very nice setting. Right. Yeah. And, th and uh, this is, as we said, the standard uh, ultra League season five. So our players are going to be starting out with three characters. We'll probably be seeing those very shortly since they have just loaded up the loading screen. They'll have to get six characters, nine espers to unlock the final Kefka battle. And then, uh, you know, go take it to the crazy jester, joker, comedian guy. <laughs> Hey, I hey, hey. In there, so. he is a madman. I wouldn't call him a jester. You know, some people would say. I think the original translations had Kefka a lot more crazy than he was in the American version, right? Uh, Mid 90s localization was uh, a trip, like no matter which like Final Fantasy game you were looking at. So, so Joker, I'm telling you, I'm really loving what Prominence is doing with the gray background here. You know, there's so many options to have how you have your font colored and your background colored that sometimes these runners can make it really difficult to read. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you look at my uh, Discord icon, you know I, the color scheme is perfectly fine with me. That's uh, that's my jam. Um, but I also know that there are some players who really, really like the fiery chicken or uh, cannot see any text chicken background. <laughs> you gotta love, I, I can't remember what they call it during the games done quick marathons. Uh, something chocobo. Oh, here we go. We're starting and we get a Terra lock and realm start. That's very nice. Yeah, it, it seems very powerful. Oh. I saw sword tech. Uh, I didn't and see the other two commands yet. That was, that was actually Magitek, GP Rain, and Sword Tech. So okay. we got both the techs. So right now it seems like we want to just, you know, have a zoomy sort of speed. Uh, but oh we do see Returners Hideout on Prominence, and Saber Wolf is going for the sort of classic Terra check at Espergate. I do love that start by Saber Wolf, and, but both of them are, are very. The, I mean, they both make perfect sense. And look look at his rewards. He already got a hero ring and a good ribbon so that you could sell. But with a lock start, that's the curse shield right off the bat. You don't have to worry about it. Just have to keep that character alive for the first few battles, you know, before they get a good life total. Uh, so, I mean, they're both getting rewarded really well for their paths. 
I, I didn't see what a lot of that treasure was, but Genji Helmet and Elixir, there's nothing to, to scoff at, plus a heal rod to sell. And it's also important that, uh, you know, we want our parties to get off level three and get ahead of scaling. Uh, so how do you think the R2 runners are going to try that here? Do you think there's an early elite river play? See, I, I first I thought maybe, but once he left the room and didn't hit the save point and just go, I figured he was just checking it out for now. You know, uh, you know, whenever I pick up the chest in the Bannon's bedroom, I, I'm usually going down Leet River. You know, I'll save that chest for when I do. Otherwise, it's like a good eight, eight to ten second time loss, depending on if you run into a wall or not. Yeah, but we do see Prominence deciding to follow Saberwolf's footsteps and is also going to be doing Espergate. When Saberwolf going for the long chest and, oh, sadly, it just said 500 gold. Uh, you hate to see that. And would you fight the ninjas here? With this party, it's a really strong party start, right? So with a weak party start, I would say yes. But when you have a strong party start, I think you'd want to push the scaling to 8 to 10, try to get an Esper 2 under your belt, maybe get a really good bonus on one of them. Because having that, let's say you get a Magic Power 2 right off the bat, that's a 16, a 10 to 16 Magic Power boost right off the bat. Whereas if you just took that level beforehand, no bonus. And so, um, what would you really want to hope to find at the end of this check? Honestly, I'd want it to be a dead check. Like, okay, you, that's it. You, I, you, that's not what I was expecting as an answer. So I'm curious why you wanted that to be a dead check. Because you still got a free check at locks, right? And plus, you have a lot of loot here. You can go sell at the Zen Thief on the way back up. So it's a quick stop, not a time loss. Where later, when run into the Zen Thief, could be a big time loss. You know, thirty seconds sometimes, depending on where you are on the map when you need to go there. So it. it if it's a dead check, and let's say it's an Illumina, a Ragnarok, or an ele Elemental Shield, gives you a really good position for the rest of the seed. So you're hoping for the dead that isn't really dead. Exactly. Uh, oh, but it's an Edgar. Edgar. Which, see, that pushes our scaling up, so we still could go to the Zen Thief, uh, right? Because we, we don't have to worry about picking the non-Esper at Lock Shop, right? Because... We have Terra, so we know we're going to get both of them no matter what. Right. And so do now, you think Marsh is the next uh, play for this? It, it's hard to say because uh, the items weren't too great. Right. So, you know, we're still looking for some offense. Uh, so they might do some more looting. You know, nobody's checked Figaro at all. Sadly, no revivifies to take out these Humpties quick, but we got we do it the Sword Tech and the M Tech making quick work of them. And this is the Ninja fight, correct? I believe so. So I'm unless the uh, prominence like uh, unequipped a Moogle charm. See, now this I find really interesting. This move by Saber Wolf go into the World of Ruin and then go into Albrook. I mean, I know you get the extra chest from the uh, dock now. Right? I'm wondering if he's going to hit up the Zen Thief afterwards. A nice play by Prominence, picking up the, the secret items in the floor. And I you didn't know. see how many um, levels Prominence got from that ninja fight. Uh, neither did I. I apologize. It's all if, good. Uh, if War or anybody saw... I know Humpties do give a decent amount of experience. Like, it's a great fight to take. And especially at low level, they can't do too much to interfere with your gameplay. Sadly, Saberwolf not finding anything in the shops over here. Yeah, this is feeling a lot like it was a really like great start that's starting to get betrayed by the lack of items. But maybe there's yeah. just, uh, we need to go to the right place and find the right thing. Yeah, exactly. Because we do have a lot of good sellables. We have a lot of good uh, items that can be equipped. Like Genji Helmet is a great endgame helmet. So, uh, you know, getting good defense is great. They are finding their sleeping bags. I did see a Mega Elixir in where I think it was the Returners. So, you know, they... Uh, good item pool so far, but, but nobody's ventured outside of 
three places, right? So we still have a lot to see. We'll see if Saber's gonna go. No, he's not. He, yeah, he's gonna go straight to Narsh. I thought he, maybe he would go to Zen Thief. And it did look like Commons was on level seven or eight with uh, most of the party. Commons also checking Albrook. Is he in uh, World of Balance, did you see? Or did he switch to Rune as well? I think that was a uh, uh, Balance. It looked like there were still like Imperial troops all over the place. Okay, see, I, I like that play. Because uh, you, then you don't risk running into Doom Gaze, right? Uh, and then you know what the... If he, let's say, he decides to go to Zen. Maybe he actually sees what the Thief is. We had a Master oh. Pug at the chest in the Beginner's uh, Room. Yeah, you never want to see him unless you have steal or capture. I really just steal because capture has a high chance to miss on the pugs. World and of then balance, you just want to uh, get beat feet out of there. Yeah, the World of Balance uh, weapon shop had an enhancer, which can help with, with whoever you're planning on using magic with. Oh, yeah, and that's great with Terra. There's a cat hood, but I do you think our runners are going to invest in a cat hood? Probably not. Or Sommer, though, in, in the training house. That's always great. And the dragon boots. So if anybody finds a dragon horn, they know they can come back here for easy boots. And that's that's one person taken care of. We offense. are doing Vox checks here. What, 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 what are we, we going to get? Experience egg? That would break the seed. Ooh, Valiant Knife and Behemoth Suit. Those are just amazing. Another dead check, too, so we don't increase scaling. So now we could potentially go get an Esper 2 from somewhere. This this could be a very fiery start. And what number are you expecting me to find on the Curse Shield? You definitely want like 7 or 8. That was oh, a 12. It's a 12. Oof. Now, since we've not done any grind fights, we have the ribbon if you didn't sell it. I think it's still worth putting it on. Because... Then you can have Valiant Life lock, you know, in the front and final Kafka. If you get an offering, that's great. And then you don't, you just kind of let him do his thing. That was an Atma there's, weapon. And, there's, and a gold hairpin. So you could throw the gold hairpin on Realm, the Atma weapon. And I think Prominence just found a Genji glove in Figaro. Just I think sitting that was in a Genji bucket. shield. Oh, was it a shield? I, th I, I I thought it was shield. I didn't see for certain, though. Okay. If it's a glove, then that's amazing. Because, you know, you already have one Atma weapon that... You know, Edgar could be... Edgar and Locke could be set right off the bat. And Terra, you already know she has Magitech. So she could be set if we find the Celis and get that M-Tech missile unlocked. And we do this have scene. Edgar, so the um, Saber Wolf going to South Figaro, and is that to try and get some discounts? Oh, yeah, that's always a great play. Ooh, and he finds earrings for half off. That is huge. You always want to buy at least four earrings, you know? They, they just always well, want to uh, added 9,800 uh, to the war chest there, so. We'll probably be able to get some earrings from that. Very nice. The save world electing to sell the curse shield despite the ribbon. Very interesting choice. Well, which, what are your thoughts on the curse shield? I know a lot of people. Won't, ooh, there's an ice shield in the basement. That's that's huge too. I think if I'm planning on doing grinds, like grind fights early. Uh, that 12 might not scare me off, but if I have if I find it a bit later, it definitely would just be, I'm, this is just uh, money in the bank. Oh, hands down. Hands down. W w anytime Curse Shield is found mid-late game, I don't, I don't even bother even wasting the time to go into that. Because it, it's like a 30-second peak, right? Uh, on Unless you talk to the guy in... There's an NPC, I think, in World of Balance, Narsh, that tells you uh, how long a curse lasts for. So if you do stop there first for looting, you could talk to him and decide whether or not you even want to go to Locke's check. But I don't think uh, a lot of a lot of people usually do that. Like when I get a lock start, 
I usually go right to World of Ruin, Narsh. What about you? Um, I'd have to think about that, but it looks it correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like this is a world of oh no, this is World of Ruin, and there's just free earrings in the boxes there. Yeah, just a yeah, there was a pair. That was very nice. Ooh, snow muffler. That's too bad it wasn't in the world of balance. That would have been a great oh wait. He doesn't have Edgar as the front party, so he's yeah, not getting, he's the, not discount. getting the discount, is he? I was wondering why that those are five thousand dollar or five thousand gold, um, I should say, uh, earrings. earrings. It's very interesting. I mean, he didn't purchase anything, so it makes sense too, you know. But uh, I'm wondering why. Sorry, it's got my brain a little stumped. Let, let's just well, focus on can, something else. <laughs> if we get so, a chance to talk to Prominence afterwards, maybe we can ask. Yeah, very true. Uh, so my thoughts on the Curse Shield, right, is with this kind of a start, you have a lot of grind fights that you can go to just to do checks. So that could knock out... Like if you do Let River, right, that's that's, that's more than a third of the, of the fights of the shield right off the bat. Now, granted, that one person is in a sticky situation that whole river, right? So, like, if you get some bad grind fights, you know, an AoE attack could just kill them every single turn, no matter what defense they have. One possibility that might not be popular, but is, you know, still available is to do Kefka and Narsh and maybe actually run into some of the enemies instead of trying to dodge them all. Uh, that's I mean, kind of a very, it's a trade-off, definitely. And both both runners electing for the Valiant Knight first, which is all you know, very smart. Get that offense right off the bat. Valiant Knight does a lot of work even early on. Yeah, I mean, the, to get the the Behemoth suit, they are going to have to get through Weavers at Welk. So having that extra offense it probably makes more sense. And you know, they're they're definitely gonna take on Welk when they go up to Kefka at Narsh. You know, but they're probably waiting to get their fifth member, hoping it's Mog to get oh, a, a huge time save. Yep. So uh -oh, Sion we find on Sion the on the throne. throne. He's impersonating Edgar. <laughs> he was tired of being the retainer to the King of Doma and decided to become a king in his own right. Edgar just takes him off the throne and says, uh-uh, let's go. You come with me. We got an adventure to go on. So, and this opens up Doma Dream and a few other stuff that are usually really great. It, which is really great, too, because we do have that natural sword tech user in our party. So, you know, having Doma to be able to unlock plus gets us three checks towards the skip. You know, uh, guaranteed progression, right? So, it, it's... it's I always love going down there. Yeah, and the, the Doma Siege is another place where you could potentially... Uh, take a few extra fights to get that uh, curse shield down if you really wanted to. Very true, because if it's a real quick fight, right, and let's say it gives you some good AP because you got that ice shield, you could easily teach everybody ice too, get the shield down, get some experience right before the boss. You know, and if you save real quick, and if it's you know it's a boss that, you know, you need a little bit of work for and you got to do it anyway, then that's two birds with one stone. And we do see to Zen coming up on Saberwolf's screen. Oh, but it looks like they both sold the curse shield, so that is thirty-two thousand for a glowing stone. And then twenty-four in ruin. So eight eight K difference, not too bad. And both runners are there at the same time in different worlds, both buying it. I think that is something to note. It's pretty coincidental. And we'll see, uh, this will be their, uh, actually, it looks like Prominence may have already gotten an Esper. Which, do you know which one that was? Uh, I, no, I must have missed it. I apologize for that. I missed it, too. I wonder where he got it from. Maybe, start, uh, maybe, maybe Prominence did buy the Starlet and we just missed the buy screen. That's true. Uh, it looks like nobody war is on is you know keeping track and 
It was yeah. a Zen Thief. Okay, yeah, so we just missed it because he bought it so quick, and then he went to go sell afterwards, right? So... Yeah, that's what We happened. still don't know what's on it. Well, and Sam sure will find a bunch of warp stones, so that's going to be super helpful. Uh, and, and and he found the dried meat, too, in case uh, Gaw happens to be our sixth guy. Okay. We have a tunnel arm check, I believe, on uh, prominence. And side. he's level seven. So to answer your question before, he got four levels off of those Humpties in the cave. And that's great. And he is dealing with a... Sorry again? Sorry. I was just saying we have Jidor and Saberwolf and the tunnel arm check on uh, prominence. And they found a Genji glove in that long chest. I usually don't go for that one anymore. And that was a great find, especially with the items that we found and the character pool that we have. Like, this is like t four of the top characters that you'd want, you know, for yeah. Final Kafka. Yeah. And um, Saber Wolf is World of Ruin. So this could be Ozer Mansion's check, I believe. I'm pretty sure he's World of Ruin. I don't think I saw him switch over to Balance. Look at him thinking hard about that offering. Like, ooh, it's just good to note that because we do have the Valiant Knife. We do have that weapon. That might be you a know, comeback, comeback later when you're rich. Yep. And we could easily get that, put that on lock. That could get us through mid to end game. No problem, right? Because you put lock in the very bottom slot. Is a little tip about, you know, Final Fantasy VI is uh, whenever you get a preemptive attack, Whoever's in the bottom slot gets the first priority. So if you put your offering physical attack user right there, you just get them to go right off the bat, usually before any enemies too, because if they have high speed, they can go before the enemy too, and it can help you end fights really quick. Okay, and so the Promise is currently fighting the Budget Inferno at Tunnel Arm. And, you know, this is always a great fight to get early on because he, he's not too overpowered. You know, even if he does all of his three attacks before you get to go, you know, it's 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 a pretty it's a pretty tame fight compared to his his big brother. Yeah, and I believe uh, it, this is a counts as a machine, so it is vulnerable to the machine uh, things. Is that correct or not? Uh Honestly, I just know that he's a little bit different than his brother, right? Where he's immune to fire, uh, and his brother uh, absorbs fire, right? Where his brother's immune to bolt, and uh, he or are they his brother is weak to bolt, and he just is semi decent to bolt, and I think they both absorb ice. And this is a really gross fight on Saberwolf's side. Those ogres can just really ruin your day. Oh, yeah. They can one or two zombites a turn, right? It's enough to make uh -huh. me just want to, like, smoke bomb out of there, usually. But I think uh, this is the the map, the picture, to get into the back room for Ozer's Mansion. Oh, yeah. So you, you, I think you could still smoke bomb out of it. Uh, but... I think he was uh, betting that these are so low he could take them out. The issue with this is, uh, oh no. They have big AoE attacks and then the Covert can throw Ashuras and Shurikens and random, you know, damage ignoring items at you. Right. Meanwhile, we do see Promise immediately just switch to World of Ruin is now going back into the South Figaro Cave to do um, Edgar's checks to, to uh, you know, get Figaro Castle back up and running. I do like that move. Did you see what the reward was for killing Tunnel Armor? Uh, I did not. I missed that, unfortunately. Saberwolf did elect to smoke bomb out of that fight. I think yeah, he... I think that's just, you know, the smarter move, because those are just really nasty, even if you have revivifies on you. Uh, did you see uh, if it was a sprite model? Uh, if it was a character model or so a sprite? So for this current check, it was not a character. Uh, I did not Very see good. the for tunnel armor, though. All right, so we're definitely hoping for an Esper now. And uh, w which one would you hope for? I know what I would want this early. I Anything with calmness protection is usually what I go for. 
Definitely so. I hope to get that thing to think about for the rest of the seed. And uh, I do like did get caught by the lady in the picture, unfortunately. I think he did it on purpose to get the levels that he needed because uh, he could he had to get out of the other fight. And I do like that move by him. That makes a lot more sense. And there's a little trick with that room that he was just in with the doors. If you wait by the chest for the door to switch, just as it switches, if you open the chest, you don't lose any time because by the time you get back to the door, it finally opens so you can walk through. It's just kind of like the same thing with the uh, sealed gate cave bridges. You know, if you time it just right, you don't lose any time by opening it. It's really, really nice little trick you can do. Yeah, and meanwhile, like on the inside, we don't, it's not quite the soul train, it's the ghost train. <laughs> and sadly, we don't have any blitzes to raise the roof with that train. Luckily, we have some nice defense and good, good uh, game knowledge by prominence multiple times already. And, you know, equipping the heel rod to, to realm to help, you know, deal with having no mass cures. Our mass party heals right now. Yeah, so uh, promises through that. Uh, that is Shiva. With a speed one and a cure two, that's very nice. Still don't know what Starlet does though. He put it on too quick for me before to see. Oh wow, and Terra learned a natural fire three, unless that was what's on Starlet. So if Starlet has fire three, that's that's a great first spell to get. So do you expect we'll see Ancient Castle now? I definitely love doing all three of Edgar's right off the bat. You know, when, if, if I'm going to go, I like to do them all. What about you? It kind of depends on where I'm at. If I think I can take all three, like like I have the power to get through all three, I'll go ahead and do all three, like it, just for the routing efficiency. Uh, but if it's uh, if I'm still trying to like sort of get my bearings, I might just go check Throne to see if there's a character or Esper there that will help me get through the rest of it. Very true. It, it does make sense. Uh, I used to go straight down but then i started to realize all right if i'm gonna go fight this dragon if i don't have spells to learn i should go check the throne first for the esper so now i make that i ask myself that question first because if i think it's going to be a character on the throne and i don't need a character i'm just going to go down but if i think it's going to be an esper i'm going to go up and check because what if that esper has like let's say quick on it Right? You want that. And then on this hide and fight, things are going horribly wrong. This is one of the dangers of the hide and fight. The, the minions, most of the time, you can safely ignore them. But every now and then, they throw out that zombie claw or that conf confu claw and lock. Being confused with a valiant knife against its own party is never a good thing. And promise is stopping to go and check out the strange strata you know i always ask myself this question is if i was an owner of a castle that could move underground and it randomly stopped would i go explore <laughs> i'm not sure if it's the safest thing to do but you know our uh, characters they they always risk it for the biscuit right absolutely they are fighting the Mad Jester, as you said. And we are through the hide and fight. And that's a great job by Saberwolf. I believe this is the that is the one of the monster boxes that is Prominence is checking, correct? I believe so. And this is a great one to check. Especially if you need some levels right before. The dragon. Oh, and he finds Katana Soul. Now this could be really brutal. Because Katana Soul, his mass party attacks can can cause a lot of damage. But luckily that Wind Slash missed. Only took out Realm. 
And from my experience, he doesn't usually multicast them unless he's a higher level. So at a low level like this, his low MP pool, I, I think that might he might be through the worst of this fight. And meanwhile, if Prominence <gasps> does get through this, that is going oh, to be... Oh, no! Ooh, that's nasty. Um, oh, no, and he GP ran the party! Oh, no! Yeah, that's that's not great. Did you uh, see meanwhile, we did get... Saberwolf did get Kieran from the Onzer Mansion check. Oh, very nice. So now we're at three Espers, right? Starlet, Shiva, and Seraphim. No, or Starlet or uh, Kieran. I think Saberwolf might have missed one that Promens picked up somewhere else. It could actually be from the the. It looks like Saberwolf is. I'm not I'm sure if this was a World of Rune or World of Balance, but it is the Safegro Cave checks now. It is okay, the balance because he yeah, can take is... the recovery spring. Very nice. Prominence is going in oh! two. And Prominence, remember, and he has muddle from the last fight that he just won. So score. Now he just has to hope. And Katana Soul kills himself. What a beautiful a showing of his game knowledge. Gonna save like several thousand GP on that offering. Oh, definitely. It was, you know, 55 or 60,000 in the shop, I think it was. Let's hope yeah, Saberwolf Saber was 63k. Nobody wore it all. 63k, so it was almost max price. So that... Let's hope Saberwolf uh, finds it as well. But we'll get to see what dragon this is and also see what's at the end of this. Definitely. So oh, it's a snow muffler. Another dead check. Wow, we're getting dead checks all over the place, though. It does help with these encounters that we've been fighting to get all this good armor and the dead checks. And so uh, hopefully we can get some experience from this gold dragon. Do you think this is too early for a dragon, or do you think this is just about right? Oh, this is perfect, especially with the damage that we have. Uh, like, I honestly, if we had found rods in a shop or uh, in a box somewhere, I, I would have went straight for a dragon early with the group that we had. And uh, I can uh, now confirm that the tunnel armor was a force shield. Ooh. Though, I mean, you can't complain about a force shield. And, you know, certain fights like Goddess, a force shield can save you, especially if you get her at the statue location end game. We got an old man defending Doma Castle. Characters, characters everywhere, but not a drop to drink. <laughs> a health Strago. Hmm. I don't know if. I would necessarily take anybody about our party. That 64 Vigor Edgar with the Atma weapon, that's a great and Ooh. Same Wolf's yeah, gonna I decide to put... would have kept the existing party, I think, just based on commands and what we've already been able to do. And look at that. Uh, Prominence taking down the dragon. Let's see what we get for it. A Genji glove. So that's two Genji gloves now. So... That we had, there's so much potential the snow offense. Pretty decent armor too. So this ancient castle has had some level of value. Oh yeah, Genji glove, snow muffler, offering, bunch of levels. You know, advance the checks. Sadly, you no, know, we got. It was what one Esper, one character, one dead check. So Edgar was all around average. Right when it comes to progression. Yeah, I mean, that's still pretty decent. And uh, where do you go from here? Is it, uh, do we expect Prominence is also going to head over to Doma now? See, I think multi-checks are the, the best. And uh, from from what the Narsh Training Academy taught me, you know, you would definitely want to go to Doma and then Doma Siege because that's four more checks off your list. You know, I think two of Domas are guaranteed progression, right? Yeah. 
And we do have... Or is um, it just one of them? Just the middle one's guaranteed progression, right? It's either character or Esper, then the first one can be Esper item, last one Esper item? I don't remember the exact mix, but we did just barely miss the Welk at the Dome of Defense. And Nobu War is confirming that uh, you are you are correct about which, about the progression at Dome of Dream. Thank you so much. So... Now that we have our six character, right? All we need are espers. So granted, Cyan's one of the newer characters that we found. So there's a higher chance that we'll, you know, we'll find a character at one of his checks, but we found it with at Siege. So it would lead me to believe that if we go into Dome of Dream, we're gonna find two or three espers here. Well, Prominence is headed right to Dream, hasn't, didn't even stop to check the defense yet. So we'll find out the answer to that question shortly. So we've got Magicite, and it looks like two empty checks for just the chess here. That's sort of cheap of them. Yeah, that, that hits the gut. Looks like somebody robbed Doma. I mean, we kind of know what happened to Doma. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. They, they, they uh, robbed the chess afterwards, too. They they pillage the place. And see, you did call it. Say we're soon gonna follow suit. So let's see what we find down here. Oh no no, Saberwolf's checking Esper Mountain. Finds a nice wing edge in that chest, that's good. And there is an Esper and item at the Esper Mountain, so I do like him going through. Oh geez. This is one of those bad fights you never want to see. Now, you can mitigate this fight by killing the retainers first and then raising everybody they kill. A French Vanilla Ultra set uh, Esper Mountain. I'm not sure if it's the exact Ultras you normally fight there or not. Uh, that went away really fast. It's I, I remember it's something with his tentacles, uh, and I can't remember which sprite is which. Well, but either it's either way, one or three, I think. Uh, either way, Saber with uh, Nobody War is confirming that is Ultras one. Oh, and he went through that so fast, but it was an Esper's Unicorn with Doom and Bio. Wow. So Doom's nice because that can be used in a couple places in the final battle. Very true, and and it's the one of the quicker spells, right? You know, compared to Exxon. Yeah, I think uh, I heard that break was the fastest, but it's only you can only use that on long arm and not on tools. Exactly. Yeah. Esper Mountain is three. The one you can sketch. Okay. And War, could you could you tell us like how do we know is it three has the tentacles up or is it? Uh, is it one? I can't. I can't remember. I know two is when you're surrounding him because that's the opera house one. I know that much. Yeah, the pincer and attack. Four is when you shoot pawn with him. Yeah. But one and three, it's like a same formation. There's just one little difference. They're all. His saber wolf is okay. Also a dream now. So. In Ultras 1, his tentacles are down in the water. In Ultras 3, his tentacles are up in the air. Like he's, he's feisty. At first, he was just exploratory, right? When you, when you first encounter him in Light River? I would prefer the word annoying, and I'd apply it to all four. Annoying. Honestly, I, I honestly like getting all the fights, except for the Chupon one, because it's, yeah, no, I mean, it's that's no fair. experience. In yeah, in, in Worlds Collide, it's always nice to see Ultras because you know it's not going to be a terrible fight. But, you know, you get that back into vanilla game, uh, and it's kind of like, oh, what's this guy doing again? <laughs> yeah, he's always up to no good, right? All right, so now we're going to find out what boss is hiding at the throne. Saberwolf is through the Stooge fight. Which was Very not nice. Stooges. Now he gets that lovely unicorn Esper. 
And it's, it's Kefka. Kefka. Kefka is it's... hiding in Doma. Oh, he's reliving he his boss. glory days. He's reliving his glory days of when he killed everybody in Doma all by himself. Holding a, an S for hostage. just finish him here, the game is over. Oh, <laughs> too bad he escaped. We'll get him next time. Let's see what happens. What do we get? At this little song and dance with the spirits. It was not a character. I saw that much. I do like Starlet had Berserk, Muddle, Slow, and Phantom. Phantom. And Phantom's always great for Tier 2. And if you have a last resort, and you can line up a really good attack, you can throw Phantom up after, you know, uh, Tier 3 uses an attack, and then swing through and pray that the damage is enough. Oh, that was a quick on the Phantom. See, that's just what I was talking about, right? So now, and Speed 2 on Mauduin, that's pretty big. Saber Wolf is hot on uh, Commodus' heels right now. So our final Kefka is shaping up to be a very well executed fight. If as long as, you know, they let us do it, right? I, <laughs> they I'm usually don't like to let our plans go into fruition. Yeah, I uh I mean I would still prefer something more than Phantom as calmness protection, but there's still you know four more espers to go and find so hopefully one of those is useful very true also prominence never did the doma defense so does not have strago that's true too let's see what we find down here ifrit Ooh, it is nice to know that there's a magicite hiding in mobiles I, you know, I never knew that barrel right there had something in it. Did you? The mobilist barrel right there? Uh, yeah, I think I've checked that before. Like, there are, like if you look at like all of the small towns, there's usually something in one of the barrels somewhere. It's, you learn something. I don't every know day, how right? useful it is to go check that, but you can usually find something. Well, I, I mean, I never go there, but if I'm gonna go there, I might as well check it. You know, if I'm there, because it's a time sink if if you leave, you know, because you, you don't like the check. You know what I mean? So you might as well at least hail Mary the, the bucket. <laughs> I mean, I would wait until maybe after the fight to go check it in case you want to just reset out the fight. Definitely. Definitely. That's a good point. And even then, uh, at this point, that might not be even worth it. I didn't say Wolf going through the dream, so now he's going to find that phantom. And uh, whatever, what was on the throne again? It was another Esper, right? Modwin. Modwin. There, there they go, they unlocked the sword tech. Yeah, we got Vargas and his Pooh Bears here. That's a great fight to get in the Fumbaba one, to be honest. You know, it could be, this could be so bad. I, I really do save this check for the very last i know it's peekable but i want to be as high level as possible with my guys when i go into this fight because i have bad luck with it i'm not even kidding you my first time i ever did it i had maggie master on the other end did saber wolf uh, get hit by the doom gaze attack or i doom believe he did and, and leader so it... nothing to be scared of in disguise just a floating soldier how do you think he got up there? <laughs> I mean, Kefka is doing all sorts of crazy stuff, so. <laughs> oh, and it's a Magicite, so they're rewarded very well. And that could put him ahead if Raiden has something really good on it. Plus, Raiden is great for, for Tier 1 and Tier 2. Right? You throw the Doom out, and if Doom misses, you can launch the Raiden, you know, as a backup. We're going to see some Zozo stuff going on shortly. And this is still World of Ruin, so this is going to be science checks. And probably a dragon while we're here. Ooh, Raiden has magic power 1 and cure 3. And I thought Osmos too. And cure and dispel. So that's 
that's just great all around. And all you have to do is like help the leader get back to the ground the hard way. Right. <laughs> oh, HP 100 on Ifrit from Obliz, Nobody War points out. Yeah, I was I missed what uh, Ifrit had on him. Prama is now going to do Esper Cave. Uh, we already saw everything from there uh, when Saberwolf did it, I think. And that's going to be really good for prominence because it's good reward both ways, right? Good, easy boss, get through it real quick, get a good reward, progression. I do like Saberwolf going up to signs. Which dragon do you think we're going to find here, Joker? Uh, let's go spicy and call it the red dragon. Red dragon? All right, let's see. Oh, I like that. You know, okay, Wolf. it's funny because whenever I need a Genji glove, I can never find them. But oh. they found three this seed so far, from what I could see, in different locations. Yeah, we're just going to put swords in everyone's hands. You might as well, right? It's it's quick, it's efficient. If you have good vigor, get through fights really fast. Quick animations. Oh, you you were close. Oh, dirt, I mean, dirty. he's definitely one of the spicier ones. Uh, uh, Saberwolf still only knows that there is a offering for sale. Does not know about the free one that you have to get from Katana Soul. That's correct. I wonder if he's even going to go down Edgar's check. I, I know from conversations and runs with him in the past that definitely doesn't like Edgar's checks. So he doesn't prefer them, so I have a feeling that it might be a last resort for him. The promise just got uh, his old man, but he's decided to leave him in the back, so he's just going to continue with the existing party. Which, which again, as you said earlier, is uh, I, I think I would have done so the same, unless that fifth character is like exceptionally good. I, I, I won't, I won't switch out my original party for it. Uh, though health is a great move on a Strago, who is usually the slowest member in your group, it can be really difficult to, uh, to have him pull it off in a pinch. Well, that Dirt Dragon's gone, and I think um, Prominence already has the offering on Locke with the Valiant Knife, I think. I didn't. He, yeah, he, he did. He put it on uh, pretty immediately. He was just being very selective with attacking, depending on... Uh, who he was going against oh that was another genji glove from the dragon that is not what you want to see from a dragon I'm at all all these genji gloves this is just a genji run right we saw genji shield we saw genji gloves we saw genji helmet all very quickly in the no, there's free offering and then you can also pay for the deluxe offering in uh world of ruin uh south figure i believe <laughs> so, yeah, it was yeah. either there or was it jador uh, I am in my actually, I think it was South Figaro. It could be Jajor, but um, we'll see. But anyway, here's another uh, Magicite. That is great because you, you, you know, you always love to see a Magicite sitting on the edge of the cliff. When you see that little blue star, you just get very sad. I mean, sometimes you see a Yeti. <laughs> That's true. You see the Yeti gracefully looking over at the horizon and then getting startled. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at me for? Okay, now I do like prominence. Here. It's just Narapa. And you get a quick Narapa and I wonder if he can get through this very quickly before he attacks. Before he does his condemn. Sadly he couldn't. I like the game knowledge that he was using to use the Magitech to cut through his uh, his reflect, but I, I nobody worried. Do you know what elemental weaknesses Narapa is susceptible to? I wasn't sure if he absorbs all elements or not. Okay, I think you were correct because uh, Saberwolf just came to World of Ruin, Jador, and is selling a bunch of stuff. Oh boy. Looks like he sold one of the Genji gloves, actually. 
I do like that decision a little bit, right? Because I found so many that I think he has one. To, I don't know if he has one equipped, but you do only need one or two, right, Max? You're not going to find six I think, weapons. I think they've only found two each so far, but I'm not sure. I might have missed one of them getting an extra. Oh, oh no, I only, I only saw... The, the three total up to the dragon being the fourth, but like I didn't know who found which ones. I just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think I think found the first two, then Saber Wolf just spiked the two right in Mount Zozo. Gotcha. But yeah, that it looks like that's going to be. I I missed who he put it on, but we have Bog as the Kefka and Arch fight. And he's electing to say nope on that one. Like, I do not need more characters. Yeah, and Kefka and Narsh, if you're if you're not like really skilled at it, it can be a long one because you could just end up accidentally hitting some of those when you don't intend to. It is very true. Uh, if you can get through the boss fight at Kefka and Narsh, right? It's almost the same amount of time as running down the mountain, right? But if it's a long fight, you might as well just run down the mountain. Because you have to think about the intro time of the troops lining up, you organizing your party, we do then you're running down, here. waiting for the troops. Uh, so it, it's an addict's tower. I do like this play. Did you see who was at the bottom? It was a non-character. That's, so that's great. That's exactly item. what we're looking for. Yeah, I think this is item or esper, if I remember correctly. And Glue just finished up. Raiding us with five people. Thanks so much, Glue. Hope you had a good run. What dragon do you think we're going to find here? You think we're going to find your red dragon now? Well, Prominence just uh, was went to the mass. It got a whole bunch of smoke bombs. I do like the smoke bomb. I wonder if maybe he's thinking about a let river play. I was wondering if he's going to do burning, uh, like the burning house and just use the uh, smoke bomb to get through that really fast. I mean, I and don't that's know true. It's play, but it's a possibility. So it, it looked like it was a lot of smoke bombs purchased. Oh, yeah, you, you are right. He, well, he's definitely going into the burning house. Hey, Dr. DT, thank you for subscribing with Prime. You are awesome. We got Storm Dragon on Fanatic's Tower. See, I was hoping it was going to be the Blue Dragon, so I was totally wrong. I do like him using the Thunder Rod to try to end this fight really quick, knowing he doesn't have Bolt 3. He's only got Fire 3. Yeah, and so... um Prominence bought over 20 smoke bombs and then is just using them like constantly here now. Now, I do like his play, you know, with using the smoke bombs, but the uh, the no rabbit Maliga fight is actually, it's a super quick fight if you can kill them all in, in like one turn. Uh, and they give you a lot of AP. I think it's like uh 15 points can't remember so you can learn that quick really fast on your lock and your edgar and then that could help you take down tier three and tier four really fast saber wolf just got a ragnarok sword from that dragon check oh wow so that means we have ragnarok at moab and genji glove user potentially What do you think we're going to find this chest up here? I mean, that's our backup snow muffler, I guess. Can anyone even use it? Doesn't look like it so far. Everybody just force armors. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's money in the bank then. No, Dr. T, this is... 
<laughs> Not a co-op race. It's the... The Ultros Underground Weekly. Between Saberwolf and Prominence. So if you've run it, I'd run away right now. If you haven't run it and you want to run it, I'd run away right now. And meanwhile, we do see that uh, Saberwolf is being surrounded by some people who are very angry that he took their snow muffler. Oh man, these people do not like it when you take the item in their box. They call in the spirits from beyond. Hmm. And they they summon the mighty tentacles. Well, I guess we're just going to use magic for this then. Yeah, when you're up in the tower, you resorted to no other option. An Atma weapon hiding in the burning house. Do you think he set the fire? I mean, he probably could have. Like, you know, sparks are in, you know, ignition source for a lot of wildfires. <laughs> he is a spicy one, too, though. You never know what he's going to do. He flies around. He just does whatever he wants. Oh, he casts a quasar. You hate to see the tentacles, man. They are causing havoc everywhere. And that ammo weapon is no more. Very nice. Taking down the ammo weapon. And look at Egger surviving. Did Egger survive with 44 HP or did they Phoenix down him? Did you see? I did not. That was Toronto. So we have uh, Earth Elemental of Esper now. Oh, very smart move by Saberwolf. Berserking Lock. You know, I always forget to do this whenever I'm in the tower with some melees. Right? This is one of the smartest moves you can do inside the tower. We haven't seen what's on that Toronto yet. Thomas is switching to World of Ruin, though. I bet you he's feeling really happy to find that Magicite at the end of the, the Burning House, right? He was rewarded multiple times for going in there. Bunch of AP, bunch of experience. You know, it was, it was relatively quick. You know, he finished the Burning House before the, the Fanatic's Tower. Though, the tentacles are at fault for that, right? Is, um... Is, did Prominence ever do uh, the mansion check yet? Owsers, I, 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 I think I, I know Saberwolf did, but I, I think we, oh, we're seeing auction house, and I don't think there's anything there, is there? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, as nobody worse said, I don't think he he went there. But normally it says glowing stones, correct? If it's uh, if there are espers for sale at the auction house, and I don't think it we does. saw that. I, I didn't get... He clicked through the menu so fast that I, I couldn't see it. I, I wonder we'll, if he's we'll going to... take have... a look at it again when the next time and see if it's uh, this. But this may be just complete, like, non-value here. <laughs> In chat, Blue saying, Auction House, what is this? Ultras League 3? I think I think you are right. I think he was just going through it since he was already in there. He just wanted to see if it was maybe a good item because the twenty thousand item could, or the is it the ten thousand item could be a high tier item that could uh, uh, be a yeah, game changer. We're back at this thing again. Well, luckily we're at a lot higher level, so we could easily think... survive. Thomas still, should still have a whole ton of smoke bombs, too, if we want to just go that route. <gasps> oh, no. Edgar was already queued up, though, right? So his zombie status won't change, right? Who His target attack won't change. So th I think they were in the clear there, but that could have been disastrous if Locke had been zombitten. I believe Edgar is swinging an apple weapon, Doc. 
Saber Wolf yeah. is headed to Mobiles. We'll find uh, Ifri here, I believe. And that should be a KT unlock. Thank you, Nobody War. The uh, wolf is on 17 checks and prominence on 16. Uh, wolf are a bit far away from the skip, unfortunately. Well, this is that's actually like the perfect number, right? Because this will put Sable Wolf at 18 after Mobile is. So just so if he goes dragons and uh, toilet yeah, so, admin. Yeah, so if he goes to Opera House, kills that dragon, that's 19, jumps in the middle, does. You know, toilet at my uh, gold dragon spot. Then he warps back out, has the skip, goes right back in with a fresh save, fully healed party with a bunch of levels. Maybe gets an Illumina or a Ragnarok in there to boost up his defense with some elemental shields from those high tier rewards. But yeah, you know. as we know, um, Sam Wolf just has to get through Vargas into Pooh Bears to uh, get a KT unlock. And those bears can be pretty scary at a high level with versus just two people, you know. But with the with this offense, I think they should be able to take out Vargas for those bears, create some havoc. What do you think? I I, I think he's like uh, far enough ahead that this should be fine. Like, I've I I just don't think like the poo bears are going to be uh, like they're really only a threat, I guess, if you allow scaling to get out of hand, right? Yeah. And I feel like Saberwolf has done a fairly decent job of managing that. Oh no. <gasps> he confused Claude Mog. Mog mass stunned the party, kills himself, stuns Terra and Edgar. That is disastrous. That is almost as bad as him confusing, you know, confusing Locke. Ooh. Those Pooh Bears doing a. Stunning 99 damage to Realm. Oh yeah, Realm, Realm shown it, no problem. But Locke, Locke taking it to the, taking out the other Hyden minions with two hits and taking Hyden down with the last of it, with his life being so low. Nice escape from that potentially dangerous situation with Mog being a zombie now. But now he'll get his last Esper right, and he'll be in go mode. Yeah, once this uh, Vargas is done, that'll be Efreed, and that should be go mode. There you go. That's Kieran for for prominence, and then literally twenty seconds later, Saberwolf will get the same message. So now they're one check different, eighteen and seventeen. That looks so, like it's a dragon difference if you look at their uh, trackers. Oh yeah, yeah, one dragon different. So that's the. Hold on a second. He killed the... Which dragons did... So we saw a Dirt Dragon, Storm Dragon, and Gold Dragon. I think Prominence killed the Gold Dragon. The other two were killed by Saber Wolf. So Prominence killed Edgar's dragon, right? And yeah, Saber Wolf killed... Saber Wolf never went to uh, Ancient Castle, so never saw that one. The one Saber Wolf got, I believe, were Fanatic's Tower and Mount Zozo. That's correct. You're right. So it was Prominence that killed Edgar's. And we're going to see uh, yet another dragon. Maybe this will be the Spicy Fire Dragon. All right. Saber's going to do it. Saber's going to go kill Opera, and then he's going to go down the middle, get Skip. Prominence is going to go straight in. Yeah, Prominence is behind by a check, by a dragon, so maybe this is, you just want to go for it then. Yeah, it's a tough decision when you're at, you know, uh, 17 instead of 18, right? Because if you have a quick check that you could do really fast, like, you know, Gauze Dad's house with Shadow, for instance, right? Yeah. But here, you don't really have that. Unfortunately, this is not a spicy boy. It is a frosty boy. <laughs> but we do have two other dragons we might run into uh, coming up very shortly. So we can see uh, what those ones are. I, I I always hope to see Skull Dragon. Goes down really fast. 
Especially when you got fire three. Plus his art. His art looks really cool. What do you think? I... Hmm. I'd have to think about that some. But... We get... Uh, we get a behemoth suit from that dragon, though. And Trago can actually wear it. But we do get some defense. Sorry to interrupt. I apologize. No, that's fine. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, prominence looks like... Uh, Splitting up the party fairly balanced, which kind of makes sense if you're not going for the skip. It does make sense. You know, uh, from from what I've learned from the communities, you usually want your your two solo guys uh, to be your numbers one and two. And then uh, your far right, that's actually going to take down the boss to be your, your or no, to be your what three and four? How how do you like to do it though? You know, it, it kind of depends. Like usually, if I'm not planning on sticking around, uh, I'll sort of load everyone into where the uh, actual required fights are and just try and take that down. We're about to see that here, uh, and let's see who's here. Nookie, Nookie, Nookie and he's got some cookies. Our favorite cheese-based painting monster. And then number 24, which is really nice. The budget magic as, master. As long as he doesn't overflow the wrong guy, right? And Kigla's throwing out the cheddar nook height. <laughs> and uh, as as expected, uh, Saber Wolf has uh, loaded up one party to go and get you know, get those required checks for the skip. And I definitely do. I, I love this this move. It's really quick. It I does give you a safety a save, too. Spot. Yeah, this was at the spot. And another Kenji glove. Oh, man. I wonder if he's saying to himself, how many Genji Gloves am I going to find this seed? So, um, you know, what meanwhile, I think, unless I missed something, I think that our calmness protection is only Phantom at this point. I, there, I don't know if we ever saw Life 3 or anything else that was available. Uh, did you? Oh, no, I did your boy. Not. The, there's the skull dragon but i i agree i saw cure three right but no life three i don't even know if we saw a life two or even a life one i'm fairly so certain we might... we didn't see fenrir or golem either oh wait, there was a life on realm so i don't know if realm has natural magic or not but we do have at least a life spell in case one this is one thing i forget to do a lot i don't know if you do it too but I only buy like eight Phoenix Downs, right? Because if, if I die in a run, it's usually like one to three deaths early on. And then it's usually not. It's with how much Iron Mog I run. But I usually forget to buy a few extra before I go into Kefka's Tower in case things went wrong. And sometimes I start my final Kefka with like two or three Phoenix Downs. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, I'm a wuss and bad at this, so I usually just buy like a stack or two of phoenix downs oh gotcha but we did see that that uh dragon was the kt skip for saber wolf so we're going to see some buttons oh boy here we go did you see what the dragon dropped for him uh did anybody in I, chat I see i think it was an atma weapon or a ragnarok i think it was a sword of some kind that that'd be amazing with how many genshi gloves he has with the the natural uses he has, oh boy, this could get out of control. Thomas is taking the other dragon now. And that is a white dragon. And that's the dragon you usually don't want to see unless you have mute on hand, which I don't think we do. And just looking at like the number of dragons that they've both done, 
Uh, Saberwolf definitely has some kind of power advantage, I'd say. And the skip has just, you know, put him right ahead. Yeah, I think he definitely... And they both have the power advantage, right? But because Saber just did those three, that power advantage just shifted a little bit higher, right? So it's... I'll trust three. If he, as, as long as he puts his party in the right lanes here, that's a huge advantage. It was an Illumina, I think, right? Because we just saw an Illumina get equipped. It's possible. I didn't see the exact one. But that is Ultros 3. And look at these times. Wow, this is insane. This is definitely a Jet Ultros Underground. I think you're right, Joker. I think I'm going to have to play this one Iron Mog. And again, the, like right now, again, my main concern, because again, I am a wuss and bad at this, is that we are going to be depending on probably Phantom for calmness protection, or we're just going to YOLO it and say, sacrifice two of the characters to get through it. Potentially, right? Because, you know, it's 50-50 shot whether or not you know, he's, we're going to see one or two calmnesses come down. And then, if he staggers the Ragnarok at Illumina, that could give him a huge opportunity to even just block it. We got French so, Vanilla Dude here. Oh, boy. Or possibly Vanilla. I didn't see which spot this was at. And, and you don't like to see Locke get frozen. Uh, on the other luckily, side, we have a few block slightly. Luckily, that natural magic Strago had uh, fire two, ice two, and was it bolt two? So he had all the natural twos. Okay, that skull dragon went down, so uh, prominence is also going to have whatever weapon was there. See, that was the behemoth suit. Now, I'm not sure if he has anybody that can equip the behemoth. That oh, apple. that was the apple weapon. Okay. <laughs> oh, the behemoth suit was from at Toilet Atma. That's right. So both dragons dropping swords, man. That's okay, insane. Is that switch now? Uh, just slightly behind at this point, I think. Maybe two bosses behind. So, so Joker Mage, if we do a little analyzation here real quick, right? The dragons early on were dropping Genji gloves, and the dragons later on were dropping swords. You think they were in cahoots here? I think the seed just wants people to be come out swinging. They want you to take down dragons, right? I think that's what Ultra Sleek Five is telling you to do: get your magicites, take down dragons, get your swords. <laughs> and that doom is gone. Very well executed by Saber. Let's see who's... Let's see how he takes down... Uh, a little friend over here. This was uh, number 24, right? This was Ultros 3. Oh, it was the Ultros. Oh, wait. Uh, we're doing a... Song oh, he forgot to have... Oh, he didn't put the Google Charm on. You hate to Luckily, see it, but he still has a little... every one every now and then. Luckily, he had those smoke bombs. Oh, and he gets the Rizu Paz fight. Yeah, it's kind of strange having piranhas coming out of this solid metal floor, but what can you do when Kefka's in charge? Very true. And you know, the thing with this fight is uh, they like to just sit there and do nothing, but you can't because these. These piranhas hits can do a lot of damage. I think I'm not sure, but I believe they ignore defense. Well, Cyan is taking a nap right now, so it isn't great. Luckily he gets a very quick spawn of Rizupas. And we're going to see the right side where Goddess normally is.
Now, recent plots usually get statue locations as roughly between, like, I think 8 and 10k. Ooh. Oh, that dude oh, is no. a bad target. Bad target. Luckily, it's just a quick reset, right? You might have to reorder something, right? Oh, you might just have to do one one grind fight just real grind quick fight just to get locked to 36. Yeah. And then Locke could take out Doomgaze. Oh, but if Cyan gets to 15, right? But Cyan's going to gain many levels from this grind fight. So we just... That's where you come to the danger, right? Because if Cyan goes to a multiple of five... I mean, Cyan's not going to be able to solve this, so you have to get at least one level. Yeah, but the thing is, is if Cyan goes to a multiple of five, well, yeah, you yeah, can't I have... You can't have your other guy dead during Doomgaze because Doomgaze likes to randomly cast Doom when your other guy is dead, right? And so you have to hope that he misses the Doom or it's a reset every time. I mean, I did right. have one seed where I managed to dodge like four Doom casts with only one party member standing. So it's not oh, impossible, <laughs> but you need some luck. Oh no, and Locke gets stoned from their death animation. That is never what you want to see. You know, I've lost an Iron Mog to those guys because all six of them did a death animation to a Fire 2 spell. Stoned yeah. my whole party. You know, the magics are not what you really want to be dealing with here. Yeah, very true. No experience. And how will you deal with the Doom Gaze? Now, with these formations here, would you even just walk to a different area? Yeah, I mean, if there's a different... Um, I don't know. This one seems doable, at least. Oh, yeah, that was a good level. experience, too. And there's our level unlock. Put your Moogle turn back on. And Cyan got three levels, so Lion's, Cyan's good to go. Should be easy to... Easily be able to endure this fight now. Throwing on the force shield, that's that's great game knowledge there too. I think I, I... Okay, round two. All right, so sadly, there's no pearl on realm, so I understand the flare. Dodge the doom. So for for doom gaze, just like Shatter Nook or Hyden, you really want to focus on pearl or fire. So doom gaze is a little bit different because he just has high high physical and magic defense. Am I correct on that, Joker? It's not a fight you want to see anywhere usually, but it, as long as you know you got the power to get through it, you can get through it. And like you said, the key to this is just taking advantage of those elemental weaknesses. Oh, didn't yeah. dodge that one. Or that one. Luckily, it was Cyan on Prominence's side. Unluckily, it was Realm on Saber's side. And, and Prominence takes down Doomgaze yep. first. Luckily, you know, uh, when you're almost, you know, near fatal, doesn't mean anything. So that's a nice sigh of relief there, because if he would have thrown an arrow or a cyclone or cyclonic, that could have been really bad. I think Prominence uh, taking a nice big... Is... Go ahead. Sorry. I think they're getting like this may help uh, Promise get a bit closer to even now. I think I mean Promise still has to do the Rizapos, and I don't know about what. Um, yeah, I think Rizapos and oh, so it hasn't done the center statue yet either. Okay. Yeah, as Magre is pointing Ooh. out, if you have wall rings in your inventory, 
and you know you're coming up against Doomgaze, it's good to put them on. I never thought about that, so, you know, tip the hat to Magre for that. I'll do and my another, best to store that uh, in the memory bank. Memory bank. We'll try my equip. Yeah, so Promise just has to get through this Doom and the Rizopoths, and we'll be at the final fight. Same both just has to get through Doomgaze, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. And that would be and there it. goes Doomgaze. Look at Edgar doing push-ups. They both have taken a nice little breath of fresh air after that fight. I don't know about you, but uh, with me doing Iron Mog most of the time, anytime I come across Doomgaze, I'm never checking my levels every every boss fight. So I always hold my breath for a minute. Just well, we have level that side on relief. Realm and level twenty four on Edgar. I think Saber or Wolf is also just, you know, lining stuff up for this fight. Because uh, we're here. Yep, and, and we're going up. The beam and is that going. is 117.05, or actually, I think we start the timer. Uh, you once start the time on the starts. first, yeah, the first bell, I think, in the battle is when that timer starts. But anyway, anyone uh, in chat, go ahead and start posting your guesses for the time. What do you think he's going to get, Joker? I uh, The calmness scares me. Um, calmness always scares me. I'm very, like, wild and rabid individual, so anything that's just calm is really terrifying. Uh, but in this case specifically, I'm not very calm. I just don't like using Phantom for it. So I think it, that could slow him down. Uh, maybe I'll go for nine minutes all right now i feel you there too and with luck with the offering the valiant knife you have to be a little strategic with how you decide to attack at first you can't just kind of go all willy-nilly you have to set lock up for success or you'll set up your whole team up for failure so i i would say this could be like a 10 10 15 fight okay if things go poorly like right here, reverse polarity, that's a, as I learned earlier this week, it's a 33% chance uh, from Schwanz. We looked it up in the script. So that's just really unlucky because that's a whole turn wasted. So you're looking at 15 to 20 seconds gone. Well, that's a uh, sword tech hit. So long arm is already gone. Very nice. And I saw the fire three that hit head was like an eight to nine thousand one. So that's another five. That's thirteen. Here's another seven. You know, that's twenty. Plus here's another fire three. I mean, that's head's got to be dead, right around the corner from it. And nobody war oh, has no. uh, declared the start of Saberwolf's fight as one eighteen zero zero. Very nice. That's amazing to have a one eighteen even start. I don't know if you saw Lock got slip hit, which is great for a value knife user. As long as we could skip Fallen One, though, right? Because there's a chance that even if you Mega Elixir or Elixir him, he might just keel right back over. And then when you raise him, he's still slip hit. So. Prominence is through the Rise of Pots. Very nice. So he's about to get ready for his final climb. Yeah, we already saw all the others, so it's just a matter of get your uh, party situated and then go stand in the light. <laughs> just don't look into it, right? I mean, retinas are a very sensitive organs, so you usually don't want to. Now, I can't, I can't hear his game sound, so I don't know if that was a death hit or not. No, it wasn't. There you go. Right. You took him down. 
two, two, two twenty eight or so. Yeah, so it's about two and a half. Two and a half minutes. Prominence is get it has um, made his selections. Is getting ready. I'm excited. This is going to be really close. Depending because tier two with no mute, this could get really ugly. So it's all really going to come down to how nice tier two is or how mean tier two is to each of our runners. What do you think? I I just want to see some uh, interesting plays to get around this, and that yeah I think that got tools. So I think tools yeah. is already down. You gotta love that because Cleve has uh, the highest percentage chance to hit over any instant death, and you know, uh, from what I from what I've experienced, like I've seen it to be like ninety percent plus hit rate. So start. Oh no, we get a confuse on the Terra. Luckily, oh, do you think she's wielding an Illumina? Did you see what he equipped her up with? I did not, but he was using Terra for the uh, Magitek to cast ice on the uh, tiger. Nobody War says that uh, Prominence started a fight at 121.40. Alright, so we have almost a four minute gap between the two. Let's see if we can make it up. We get a nice Doom on Tier 1 over here. And we have Edgar and Locke. Slowly but surely whittling down the rest of head. Locks not co op. Oh, I think head did go down. How are we going over here with tier two? Uh, I think we still got three of them up. Yep, yeah, three of them are still up. Okay, that seemed rather quick from Prominence. That was yeah, just over he, a minute. Less than a minute. Well, well, yeah, you're right, right. One, one, you're right, it was like 115. That was insane. That was super fast. He dismantled him systematically. And like you said, this could very well depend on how well this particular tier goes. I mean, luckily we've had no zombifying, though there is... A life three so let's see if uh, our players pull out a dispel on that life three or else tools oh that wasn't on tools that, yeah, was, that on was on hit yeah that was on hit i think tools is already gone there's the uh, pearl proc Well, Gray pointing out that the party-wide heals from Strago's health is taken away from Locke's VK damage. Yeah. You always want Locke to be as weak as he can. And this goes back to the decision to take Strago over uh, Edgar back when we first got uh, Strago. I wonder if this is going to cost uh, the time... Because, again... In Worlds Collide, or just any role-playing game, really, you know, your best uh, time save is always the highest DPS you can, right? Without sacrificing too much defense so that you can become a glass cannon. Yeah, if you can uh, end every fight on one HP, but do, like, quad nines with every hit, that'll get you through. Yeah. You know, one, honestly, one of my favorite strategies to do is to go into Final Kefka with my VK user not healed at all, just his MP all the way up in case, you know, he needs his MP for something. And uh, just hope he... I, I try to keep him in the back line for, the, for Tier 1, right? Because if he gets Reverse Polarity, then he's pulled to the front. Don't waste the turn. But if he isn't, then, you know, hopefully he'll survive hit. Yep. And then Maybe. later, you just use a phoenix down on him. And if he dies, and then he's at a great life total to do a bunch of damage. And then you usually let Fallen 1 go through. And then so you that, heal the rest of the party up. Just let so him go crazy. 
Right, and Saber Wolf is at seven minutes now, and in tier three, or just past seven minutes. We did see the ten hits come uh, out, but uh, everyone stayed up. It locked to into amazing damage. Between Locke and Edgar, we're looking at uh, 20 to 22k swings in one turn. Great knowledge by uh, Saberwolf using Flare. Absolutely. You want to avoid elemental casts on the girl. Oh, and Locke not... Or, yeah, Locke not cooperating. Three hits. Three hits to the wrong target. You never want to see that. That's the only real danger you have to, uh, you know, an offering on the final fight, right? Because uh, you never know where they're going to target. Sometimes they just don't target where you want them to. You have to make sure a girl goes down first because she'll just life three right back all the way up to full. Or life two, right? Not life three. Realm using empower over on prominent side. Here comes the phantom, like you called it. Let's see if Locke could do the final bit of damage. We got trained. That, I'm not sure. Was that going to break the invisible? I don't know. Oh, uh, it looks like it, it is. Does. That's bad. Here we get the death counter from, from magic on tier two. So Prominence is now catching up the saber again. Prominence got through that. It's less than six minutes. And Saber Wolf, there you go. Do excellent work uh, using an echo screen on Strago and then using Unicorn to clear all the effects of Train and then quicking Lock. Now, one thing that I would do to my VK user, right, is before I would do something like this, is I would attack him with my other party members to get his HP a little bit lower. It looks like Prominence left a lock on a lower HP from the previous uh, section, and we are through uh, Tier 3. Oh, and here we go. It's, it's all going to come down to this final execution. And Saberwolf did manage to keep everyone up. Or somehow brought them all back up. And then here we go. Here's the uh, phantom coming out. This is very close. There's only about 30 seconds separating our runners right now. Yeah, it's going to probably depend exactly on how this uh, final fight goes. That W wind is not great. Oh, no. Luckily, it boosts Locke a lot more than it reduces Edgar, and that 16k is definitely going to be enough, but it, oh, it takes out Edgar. Luckily, he's only one, though. And Locke is the one right now that's going to do the damage, right? Because if he taught quick to Locke, Locke can throw out 32k real fast right yeah, now it's still kind of a shame to lose one of your power uh users like right before the final fight but at least it three definitely of them does out. uh meanwhile the fallen one did come down on saber wolf side and then um now they're back up so we're just yeah, he was able to throw out a cure three Hyperdrive. Here we go. Oh no. And now All right, uh, he, takes, just... he takes out Strago and not Realm, and that's a good thing because now Realm will be able to life Locke, and then Locke will be able to hopefully put through the last little bit of damage because Locke should only have like three, four, five hundred life. Yeah. Yeah, and. It's also interesting that we ended up on the oh. same exact parties at the end. Locke couldn't get his ATV bar up, ATV bar up in time. 
And I, I see I do like him letting Locke swing at one life with it. So that was what, uh, 18k. Right, it's all going to come down to this this attack right here, and lock it as attack through before. Very nice. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting for the for the garner to come back up. Oh, and there's the crack. I think Promise that was one thirty one eleven. Yeah, that was. Oh, that was right to the right to the edge right there. And see, Kefka will do this to you sometimes, too. He will sit there for a minute and not cast his, his uh, second goner. So that's why it's always great to have that quick in your back pocket to just quick and attack with your offering user eight times and not wait, have to wait for that final goner. Uh, the, the second phase, in case you missed it the first time. What do you think about that, Joker? You know... Uh, the I heard a wise man once told me randos are going to rando and that's kind of <laughs> what we got to deal with it sometimes very true oh well, uh we should be seeing the uh final sort of say wolf should be able to get through this though oh yeah he, he's i'm pretty sure kef is going to go down right now there you go 132 16 i think it was gg to both runners it was a great match great race and they're both in the waiting room. Do you want to pull them both at the same time? Uh, if they, they're, pull they're them okay with that, we can do them. Uh, yeah, this was a wonderful match. A really interesting seed. Uh, and saw you said you were going to iron mog this later on so i uh, hope you enjoy that but um yeah i guess this was like genji gloves galore too oh boy this was insane you know honestly i if i do run it it's gonna have to be iron mog right i it, it would be unfair otherwise Because I definitely won't, I won't remember what's where. I'll just remember in general what the seat is. You know, You'll by remember tomorrow. the Genji gloves. <laughs> oh yeah, I think. To, you know, fight I think dragons. our racers. I think our racers are gonna have nightmares about Genji gloves. <laughs> and it looks like we are uh, now joined in our uh, chat room by both racers. GGs. Good game, everybody. I think they might be working out some audio issues. Uh, but yeah, you guys both um, did really well. Uh, and it was a very close match and really exciting to watch and to uh, you know commentate. Thank you for the GGs. And uh, man, seeing Saberwolf finish right after me that had to have been close and probably a lot of fun to watch i, I can't watch can't wait to watch the replay on this oh yeah i definitely won't spoil anything for you so i won't tell you the play-by-play -play so you can actually enjoy the final calf because i'll tell you it was a little nail biting <laughs> um wow that uh this was a uh really powerful start of a seed like just finding all the items you want to find at the beginning and how um, do you feel about genji gloves now uh too many of them <laughs> are you gonna have nightmares about genji gloves um you know i was holding off on equipping my first genji glove until i found uh, a better second weapon for edgar i i wanted to keep him kind of defensive um since i had a pretty powerful offering lock going um it, it was just sitting in the bag for a while for me 
I believe between the two of you, there were five total Genji gloves found. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, they, they were everywhere. Like, uh, two, two checks in a row were Genji gloves, and I think two dragons were holding Genji gloves, and the other dragons were holding the swords for the Genji gloves. So me and, me and Joker were talking about the dragons being in cahoots. <laughs> and there were offerings for sale, and uh, I think uh, um, one of you did actually find the katana soul, too. Yeah, um, he actually wiped me. I uh, couldn't get the metal off in time. <laughs> It was me and him starting off with that. I think it was a bolt edge, right? Like, or yeah, uh, yeah. Some AOE killed my metal user, and then um, it just went downhill from there. Yeah, you know, I saw you just take the reset and be like, "Let's go again," and then boom, muddle right off the bat. He killed himself. Great job. That was excellent game knowledge. Question: Thanks. How close was the end? Less than a minute, Saber. Well, I know the time. I mean, on, on screen. I, I think you should watch the final Kefkas, dude. Because I think you'll enjoy it. it you was, can't tell me? Was, All right. Oh. Hi, well, <laughs> <laughs> Joker. Do you uh, want to tell him how close it was? Yeah. Well, I want, uh, all, like I, all I want to know, did he pass me at the end? Yeah, I think the main difference, like, and the, this is my inexpert knowledge, so take it with a grain of salt, may have come down to how much damage your Valiant Knife wielders were doing, because I think that's how Prominent Sky head towards the end, is just uh, his v VK user was uh, dealing some more damage. I just could not, I could not get Locke in the position to quick Valiant Knife. I just, Kafka did everything he could to prevent me from getting locked into that position for me to use him. It was just yeah. so frustrating at the last fight there. Also, yeah, Saber, or... um, uh, you managed to get your entire starting party through that, uh, the calmness, and if I didn't see what you you did for calmness protection, or did I miss see that? Uh, no, I had Phantom, but, uh, but Sleep countered with Shrine, which revealed everybody before I could get locked to Quick Knife again. And but both both Dream and Final and Kefka 4 prevented me from getting my quick uh, Valiant Knife va lock off. So I got trined out of Phantom, but he only calmed this once on Terra and he she evaded it, so Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't that big a deal, it's fine. So Oh man. You see what what uh what I noticed uh that uh I think Magre pointed out in chat that uh Strago's health was doing more damage to Locke than it was with your party's heals. Cause it was reducing Locke's damage roughly like uh six hundred a hit per heal. Right? Yeah, I know, but I <laughs> With everybody like almost dead in the party constantly, I just I didn't really have much of a choice, you know. I I completely I, concur. You know, it's a sticky situation. You know, I, sometimes. I just, uh... The idea was just to hold out so he could go to his goner power up again, but getting double hyperdrive, double you know. Um... Oh, I mean, I mean, in tiers one, two, and three, not tier four. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Because because that's that's where you. That's where uh, tier two is always the problem, right? When you don't have mute, because magic can just be disastrous. Yeah, but is magic you... wasn't a problem. I mean, she he muddled uh, Terra that one time, but overall, magic was not a problem at all. I don't think magic really did anything except for haste to his haste to the entire group. Uh, life three uh, hits and muddled Terra. I think that's all he ever did. So he really didn't do anything to me that whole fight. So, I mean, I wasn't worried about that, but I was just worried about just carry Locke to the end so he can stick on Kefka 4 after a fallen one. I don't know if I should have, like, wicked there after the fallen one with Locke and just figured him out that way. Maybe I should have done that and then healed everybody up afterwards. But yeah, it, I was, it's, it's risky. always uh, it's always risky, especially if uh, you lost track 
because a hit went out too quick or something when you were in a menu. It happens to me so often that uh, sometimes I just YOLO it. Because uh, if if you have lock low after the fallen one and you quick, you know, that's eight hits at somewhere between three to five K, you know, depending on how strong lock is. So yeah, that's, that's I, didn't, I didn't want that ultimate heavy amount of damage. and then wiped. I mean, that, that's I didn't want it. So I was like, ah, I won't do it. Yeah. I'll wait till I'll wait till uh, goner. But then he double hyperdrived me. Lock was one of them. And I just got caught and going into uh, defensive mode until he got into his goner power up again, which took forever. He just kept hyperdriving or um, or havoc winging me double like double havoc wing, double hyperdriving me constantly. So I was just in defense mode for like the last two minutes of the run to just kind of salvage it, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to do this. I got to actually jet uh, slightly early, but obviously uh, if you still have more questions, Sonic, uh, go ahead and uh, continue the conversation. Uh, both of you, once again, GG, uh, everyone in chat, thank you for joining us. Um, and again, I, this is just me having to take off as slightly early. And I'm glad I was able to get to, you know, the end of the stream before having to jet. Uh, but Fox, thanks for being in the booth. Me, nobody war. Thanks for running the show. Uh, take care. And you too, Joker. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful night and you're appreciated as always. Yeah, thanks, Don. Thanks. Yeah, hey, Prominence. <laughs> so, how, how did you feel about the final Kefka all in all? Uh, very lucky. Uh, I thought tier three was gonna just demolish me. Um, I kind of had. A similar issue with Phantom doing nothing for me, but I got yeah. really lucky with the counters. Yeah, or was, lack of them. It's always disappointing because, like, Phantom, it could be you have to, like, time it so right. You have to wait for him to cast a move, and then you have to cast Phantom, and then you have to, like, hopefully quick an attack. And it's just, it's a little stressful, right? Because if he messes up, even just a little bit of damage, then he trains or he medios, your whole party gets hit. It, it could be disastrous. You know, um, me, it, me, I go ahead. Sorry. Oh, it was, it was, uh, mostly the medios I was worried about. Um, I've, I've been just destroyed so many times by those counters. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the double medio is brutal. Um, yeah, fortunately I got through there, and then, uh, Kefka was pretty gentle with me too, giving me a nice, uh, fallen one at the beginning for, uh, lock. And it was just kind of home free from there. Yeah, I saw you both excellently used your sword text to, to cleave tiers one and two. You know, uh, that was, that was wonderful game knowledge. I mean, you guys showed excellent game knowledge all throughout the seed, uh, the one thing I wanted to ask when it came to the checks, right? We saw that you guys were only separated by one check. And uh, I saw us say both you did the Opera, Dovin, Toilet Atma, and, and the other dragon uh, to get the skip. How close were you to thinking about doing it, Prominence? Oh, uh, I'll, I'm sorry. Say, say the last part one more time. How close were you thinking about finding that one extra check to go do the the, the, the quick dragon atma uh to get your skip were you thinking oh. about it at all no um honestly the main thing that was on my mind was just doing the quickest checks that were available without needing a warp stone because i just couldn't find warp stones anywhere got so you I was avoiding the, those Warpstone checks and uh, kind of just got lucky, I guess. Uh, South Figaro Castle. Yes, I remember I remember Joker pointed out at one point that Saber found them. I just couldn't remember where. So he, yeah. he did have the Warpstone, so he could do that. And uh, that's like, you guys were, were neck and neck the entire seed. Like It was great. I would definitely recommend watching the race again. You know, because uh, you'll you'll learn a lot, definitely, especially from the chat. Uh, like they were definitely teaching things. You know, uh, so 
It, it was it was an amazing race, and that skip pulled Saberhead ahead of you, Prominence. And uh, oh, wow. the only thing the only thing that cost it was was uh, the, the the rude tier two. Like tier two without mute can be so painful. Yeah, um, that's what killed me in my uh, tonic race uh, last week was was the Kefka Tower. It can be uh, it can be brutal. Uh, in general, how else did you feel about the seed? Um, it felt pretty safe the whole ride. Um, <laughs> although uh, Hayden pulled a a uh, quick one on me, confusing uh, my stunner or uh, realm using stunner. That was that was oh, pretty yeah. scary. Yeah, he he was he was mean to both of you. It was Saber. How did you feel about your hide and fight? Um, I mean, I got I think I did hide in way earlier than uh, Prominence did, but yeah. I mean, Terra had like fire three, so wasn't too worried about it. It was just a matter of. Uh, just you know, keeping her up and just keep fire threeing, you know, hiding down. So it was, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I just remember that uh, he like poisoned the whole group, and they were they were losing life, getting low. Because you were still, uh, I know you did it early. All of your guys were still like in the three digits, right? Like eight hundred life each or something. Yeah, I think it was less than that. I think it was like four or five hundred. But yeah, uh, well, five to six hundred. But yeah, I mean, I wasn't worried about the poison so much. It's just struggle was just going to be heal bot until he learned to spell. Because he had oh, I... magic, which is why I kicked out Edgar. I kicked out Edgar because I'm like, well, at the time, all I had was an Atma weapon, and, and Edgar was had nothing to offer. So I was like, well, Atma level is way later game. I got Astraga with pretty decent magic power. Like he had, I had a 41 base uh, with his uh, Mithril uh, rod there. So I was like, I was like, you know what? Astraga was gonna help me earlier in the game. I know I can learn Fire Two, Ice Two immediately on him. Uh, took a little extra, took a little longer because the bosses I fought didn't give uh, magic points though to learn things with, so it took me a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, plus, he also had Cure Three. I think he learned already. He learned Cure Three plus the health. So I was yeah, like, okay, well, natural, I don't have any magic, healing. Right? So yeah, yeah, natural magic. So I wasn't gonna like. I needed somebody to like heal because I had no heals at that point. So I was like, you yeah, know what? I, I think I think Strago's gonna be more helpful. So plus, I also I knew that I wasn't gonna get like. Sorry, I knew I knew I was I already knew where offering was. It was in uh, Jador. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to afford two offerings, and I'll be able to afford one offering. So I might as well just kick out Edgar and just go from there. Oh yeah, it totally it, it did make sense. You know, uh the only the only thing that was sad is like Edgar had just like what, sixty-eight vigor or something base. Like he was so crazy strong. No, he had uh, he had 42, 43 base. Oh, 40... He had he had a high oh, burst on, so that's why it was sixty. Got you. Um, got you. But I mean, it would have been nice because later I found the Ragnarok, uh, which would have been great on Edgar. I probably would have preferred that on Edgar than having uh, Strago, because we found no, I found no tier three spells at all, because um, Terra naturally had fire three early. But I mean, like, I think it was her first. I think she started with it, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah so we were, we were wondering if your first Esper, because nobody saw your first Esper at first. And we were wondering if that learned taught Fire 3 or if Terra had it naturally. No, uh, yeah, Terra had it naturally, Fire 3 immediately. And um, so that was an option to go to. Well, she learned it after a fight or two, like when I went to Jador. And when, as soon as she, I think she, I think I learned it on the second painting before we went to the boss. She learned it there, so I switched her to a golden hairpin because I had two golden hairpins from looting. So I switched to a yeah. golden hairpin on her so we could cast fire three for the boss fight. And uh, that's what carried that boss fight, so. And the, the loot in this seed was was exceptional. You know, like, except for the, yeah. you know, Terra's, like, sealed gate uh, check. That that was good sellables and whatnot. You know, you've seen better treasure rooms. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, force armors, force shields from uh, dragons and stuff. Um, a lot of Genji gloves. I think we found like I think I found like four of them. Um, and it was good to sell with because you could get to sell for the offering, which is what you needed for a lock. 
for the VK. So, I mean, it worked out. I mean, that's what the key to that was. So, that's fine. Very nice, very nice. Uh, do you guys have any, any additional feelings about the scene? Anything you want to talk about specifically? Uh, no, it was just uh, a power trip of a early game <laughs> with all the loot. Um, it, it, was a, it was a fun seed, though. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was probably the fastest seed I ever did on Restream. It was the fastest time I ever done on Restream, and it still wasn't good enough. God damn it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sad about it, but I mean, it felt good. I already went into the, uh, the, this is an underground seat. So I already went to the race room, still finished at last with a 132. I can't believe it, but, um, I just, just got to figure out how to go faster, I guess. I don't know. This was yeah. the best, this was the best, like fully competitive on live stream, like run I've done. Like I felt good. Still wasn't fast enough, so I just gotta figure it out. I guess I don't know. Uh, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I feel the same way. Um, like I, I feel like I just got really lucky in, in some spots that, like, in the same situation and and other times, I've just gotten completely demolished by some of the fights. I mean, I'm looking at the times. The next closest, except for Mildan, um, the next closest time. Is a one twenty four, so I'm like it's still like eight oh. minutes slower. It's like it's crazy. I don't know. I mean, it's just uh. it it's really hard to say with these kind of things, you know. It says because you have to literally break down each specific seed by its moments to see where the time losses happened, right? It, it's not something that's. A generalized thing right because it all comes down to certain fights with certain team comps and certain abilities that cause the time loss do you, do you understand what I mean no I hear you and I don't know what other team cop there could have been I mean other than if well, you kept Edgar for I'm, Ragnarok but well I'm saying yeah. like like for instance if we take any other runners route through this same seed and compare it to someone else's route is the only way to truly show the time differences does that make sense no i hear you right because it's such it's such a there's small extraneous variables that cause it right so it's like you'd have to pick out certain specific examples by analyzing of the video. Because like I, I tell you, my memory is not perfect enough to tell you specifically how. Like I could tell you one way is elemental weaknesses, right? If you go against the boss fight where you didn't have the elemental spell that did the most damage to him. Like if you're going against Guardian and you don't have Bolt 3 but you have Fire 3. Well the fight's going to be a lot slower than if you had Bolt 3. Mm -hmm. right? so like, that's what I mean more. It's like <sighs> that's the only real way to to break down those time losses. But uh, you know, you both you both did amazingly well. You know, it was it was a lot of fun. It was very enjoyable. Uh, you showed excellent game knowledge all throughout. Well, no, yeah, thank no, you very much. Sure. Yeah, good game, man. Um, thanks for thanks. Ah, thanks again for the race. Yeah, no, did you, man? I mean, appreciate it. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, yeah, I'll have to watch it back, you know. But yeah, I, I definitely recommend it both of you. And uh, just remember, you know, we're we're nothing without the runners. So thank you so much for participating and allowing it to be restreamed. It means a lot. Oh, no prob. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, to everyone in the community that's interested, please come join us in our community. Join our Discord. Go to Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide.com. You know, come help our community grow. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of friendly and welcoming people.